All right, we're back with the Ultimate God Simulator 2018. There's been some new updates and some cool stuff too. We've got a whole new zone to become the god of. And there's some other things that I want to change out. Uh, so these poor guys over here have just been walking on the void as they do. I want to like maybe get some mountains out here so that these guys can start using it. And it'll be like a little pass between the snowy lands and this this cool um, like the Sakura village that we've got going on over here. You can see there's some new buildings that are getting built looking cool. But like I said, there's a brand new civilization. So we're going to have to check that out as well. Let's put some mountains down here. Oh, look at this. Like, they just set these fields up. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Someone's screaming for help, too. I'm going to kind of let the outrage go on right now. You can see there's a bunch of very sad times happening in our realm. But, I mean, I think that that's important. Conflict is important. It's something that we need for a balanced universe. These people need to take each other over. They need to invade each other's lands. It gives them a sense of purpose. That sounds terrible. I want to get rid of this swamp over here, too. It's still not really doing anything. By the power vested in me, you've been voided. Voided. Like a credit card. There we go. All right, we're set. All right, so like I said, let's throw some mountains over here. Like a mountain there and a mountain there. I want like a pass though, so that everyone can get through it. And we'll put mountains there, yeah, into the snowy realm, like that. And then maybe a couple more mountains like this, and then like one more mountain there. And that, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna have that as plains, and then the forest will be up. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a forest there. All right, we do have to do a little bit of care while that's happening over there. We're gonna have to take care of some stuff over here. Everyone's really pissed off. So I'm gonna throw down some rain. We've been like locusting people. And like killing everyone. I think it's been a real problem. I think right over there, they could. Oh, the heal ability got really, really fancy in sound. I didn't. Hold on. Let's. I want to hear it again. Oh, it's so glorious. All right, regen. Way downtown. I don't think we hit it. Hold on. Let me try there. There we go. Wanted to get a couple of the trees fixed up. There was like a fire that was raging over there. Ended up blowing a lot of stuff to the ground. This is a very precarious place to put your monuments and your villages. Right here at the base of the volcano. Look at the prank to it. The guy's like, oh, God of the volcano. Please don't screw us over. Oh, Oh, Gray will probably screw you over. Also, look at the maritime stuff that's going on over here. Look at all the look at all the boating and stuff. There is people fishing, and there is boats out here and rafts and all kinds of crazy stuff. They are going nuts out there. I think I'm gonna put a mountain over here because there isn't one. And then we're gonna get started on the brand new stuff the savannah and i'm really curious to see exactly how all that works so what we'll do is we'll put like savannah right over here that way it'll have water it'll have mountains and it'll have the desert right over there as well and i kind of want to see how it looks so let's um uh-oh oh someone's on fire hold on savannah i'll be right back oh mother of god hold on great to the rescue yes feel the power of my of our deusim right over here we're rocking it now baby another one over there another one over there we're saving lives Normally, I'm taking lives, but today we're legitimately saving them. Regen. There we go. And the forest is back. If only it was that easy, right? People talk about, like, global warming and all this other stuff or the pollution and everything. Imagine if we could just take care of it that quickly. Just throw something at it. Problem solved. Let's go back over to the savannah. Hopefully, the place doesn't burn down while I turn my back for two seconds. All right, savannah. Boom. Boom. Now... Do you need other stuff in the savannah? That's why I'm going to connect it to the... Oh, the music is epic. Okay, let me, let me travel down here to the savannah real quick. These are some tall trees out in here too. I'm gonna tell you, even at our god height, they're still pretty sizable. I'm gonna put some grass by there. I don't know what this will do if I do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't know if like the savannah will grow into the grass or what, because it, it blends right in with the um with the desert over there. I still really want to colonize the moon too. Hold on, can you savannah? Oops. I was gonna say, can you savannah the moon? Weren't we able to uh, throw like a, a a grass on it or something? Yeah, you can throw grass on it. You can colonize it that way. I wonder what happened if we just left it in a village. Would people go into it? Oh, I hope they would. Hold on, let me bring this down here. Also, it gets a lot bigger as you start going down to the ground. Well, you know, relativity and all that. Oh, you can put the moon in the ground. I've done it. I've legitimately put the moon straight in the ground. Now, I wonder if people, like, walk into it or walk over it or what. But there it is. The moon has impacted with the planet and uh, no craters or anything. It just kind of, like, marshmallowed its way into the ground. And we got a big void opening over here. I 
don't like that. So we're going to have to set this up with something. It doesn't really make any sense, but I think I'm going to put some Savannah over here. Actually, you know what? We're going to put some Savannah. I'm going to me I'm gonna mess this way up. We're going to put some of this, and then we're going to put more Savannah on this side. So it's going to be it's gonna be kind of a weird... I don't think that the, that the geographical area of the planet exists in such a weird fashion, but I kind of just want to see what happens. Like, maybe we can get some different huts and some different buildings and stuff like that. All right, we've got people in the Savannah. They're hanging out. They're chopping down wooden stuff right now. I don't know. He just ate something. I don't know what he's eating. Oh, people are levitating through the planet. That's fine. That's what happens in the savannah. They get special powers. It's like, what in the, are there trees inside of the, what happened here? What happened to these trees? Can you go back into the savannah? Can I throw you back in there? I feel bad. Oh, they must've gotten chopped down. That's where they got the wood from. Oh, they're getting their fishing on too. Okay. So they have a way to eat. They have minerals to mine. They have trees to get. So we should see some, some colonization and some other stuff happening over here in the savannah. I'm going to put like a mountain right in this region right here. This way it's kind of, it looks cool too. Like if you notice, there's like, um, like palm trees growing out the side of it and stuff like that. It almost just looks more like the guy took his fist and just kind of like smashed the ground. Actually, maybe even with the little pointer finger out because it's kind of a divot right there. But I want to see if that allows people to make stuff a little bit better because you can see the house is over here real basic house is over here real basic what's going on with our planet our uh our moon over here planet chase you guys living on this thing yet i'm already putting people on the moon man you know hold on let me see if i can put someone on there you madam just for a moment you're a worker huh uh oh you're 55 you're fine then the status is fine you are fine madam oh God. i'm sorry hold on i'm gonna get you set up here we go right on top of the moon there we go We've colonized the moon. First person ever to do it. I feel so good right now. Look at her. Look at her go. There's no gravity in space. So that's that's realistic. Uh, although space is only like 60 feet off the ground right now. So we've discovered that the moon just brings space with it. That's basically what happens here. She's doing fine. I'm going to let her do her thing. Hold on. Can I get anyone else up there? I want to know now. Oh, this lady just had a heart attack and died. How about you, good sir? How old are you? 19. Female. I'm taking all the females. I feel bad. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, where'd the plane go? Oh, no. Oh, my lady just went flying. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. I'm not done with you. Oh, she needs food. So if I put her up there, she probably won't be able to eat. There we go. Live on the moon. Let me know how things are up there. Over in the savannah, look at this. Stuff is happening. It's, it, they're an evil tribe over here, I guess. Is this dude skipping? This dude's skipping. I've never seen this before. This is the happiest villager in the entire world. He's a heretic too. I'm surprised he's so happy. You're not gonna be so happy when you get hit with the locusts, are you? Yeah, you're sad now, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You think you can skip around all desecratingly like? You must be freaking crazy. In fact, hold on, I'm gonna, who are you? You're 19 years old, you're a male, huh? Let me ask you this. What would you do if I locust you and you couldn't move? Yes, you like that? Does it feel good? Oh, I don't think he can get locust while, he, while I'm, he's in my hand. That's interesting, I never thought about that. I guess he's going home or something. He's just skipping right through the locusts. That is the happiest man I've ever seen in my entire life. This lady's walking with purpose. At first I thought maybe she was skipping too, but she's just like power walking, like with authority over to the monument over here. Now I wonder if, since we got these, um, the mountains over here, has anything changed? This pyramid has been here for a while. Is there anything inside the pyramid? Can I look inside the pyramid? Nope, it's very dense. A lot of bricks inside of the pyramid. Nothing else there though. Oh, they like pledge allegiance when we do stuff. Look, watch when you regen, they're all like, oh yes. They clap very, very sadly. Their hands don't actually touch. They kind of do like a, like a really, really broken up golf clap. Were there always berries on these trees? Or are these, um, these bushes over here? That might be new. I'm curious if people are walking through the fire and that's why they're yelping every once in a while. You hear the, Arr! Arr! right there. Very downtrodden people over here. They're looking so downtrodden. Let me give you something. You give me some rain. Everyone loves rain, right? Doesn't that make the crops grow? You know what? I haven't dealt with a heretic in a long time. I haven't dealt with one in a long, long time. And there is one way to deal with heretics. Hey. Oh, wow. He landed it. Stuck the landing. What are you, Tony Hawk? Hold on. Ugh. That should be a good one. Right there. Boom. All that's left is his ribcage. All right. We got another heretic, but I have a plan for this. I haven't used my moon yet for such creations. Anyone who's a heretic has to deal with the moon. There we go. You hang out up there, buddy. Oh, he landed it. Wow, I can't believe this. Just here, get up there. Stay there. Don't come down. No, you're banished to the moon. You can't come off of it. There we go. Yeah, die up there on the moon. That's what you deserve. Oh, 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 fire, fire. Oh, oh, I'm oh, fire. I got it. I'm fixing it, everyone. Sorry. Sorry, I was a little bit. I was a little bit late on all this. Let me get all your trees fixed up there. A little bit of regen for everyone. Oh man, the, the god was was very lax over here. 
screwed everything up. I can't believe that everyone is so, um, like, everyone's very kind and nice over on this side, if you notice. There's, like, a lot of hatred, but no one's attacking each other or anything. Oh, we got a plague going on right over here, I think. I don't know where the plagued people are. Hold on, I think we can fix this with my healing abilities. Will that fix everything? Yeah, plague's done. All right. See, every once in a while, I could be a good person, but I have to balance out my goodness. So now that I've helped those people with the plague, someone has to get hit with tornadoes. Who's it gonna be? Let's see. You. You all get to get hit with tornadoes. I'm sorry, guys. It's the way it is, man. Bye. Yeah. Oh, they changed it. It doesn't, like, the, the houses don't go flying into the entire universe anymore. Do the people get, are the people affected by the tornado? Let me see. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Hey, it's a home run! There we go. People are definitely affected by the tornado. Oh, mother of God! I had no idea it was so bad. I had no idea it was so punishing. Wow. Okay. Well. That tornado did a lot of damage. People are fighting over my savannah? going on over here? Everything should be pretty happy. There's another fight going on over there, too. Everyone's kind of like mourning right now. I don't know where all the sadness is coming from here. You're all very sad. Have, have some rain. There you go. That make you happy? Is everyone cheering now? Got one little tent over here. That's all they have right now. I don't know if they're going to be making more. If there's like fancier structures, maybe, that you can make. Let's go see if there's any kind of battles happening, because it looks like it says that there is. But it may already be over. You have to find people with their sword. Yeah, see, this dude has his sword out. So like, if we grab him, Let's see what happens. He's a warrior. So if we grab him... And, oh, he's 92 years old? Are you kidding me? So if I grab him, and I bring him over here, put him down on the ground, will he will he warrior people? What is everyone skipping for? Yeah, this dude over here is being a warrior. It's about time someone took up their sword and did some stuff. Hold on, let's follow these. Let's follow this guy. I want to see what happens over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, the combat has begun. What happens if you pick both people up? Hold on. Like, if we grab a warrior over here and a warrior over here... Can I beat them together? I kind of want to know. Hold on, everyone. Sorry for breaking up your combat. Ugh. <laughs> you can. You can. Th she's skipping away. She's like, I was touched by the god. I'm so happy right now. This lady's crying. She's like, how could you do this to me? You scumbag. Oh, she's walking sideways. That's how much we've ruined her life. Over here, a big battle rages. Whoever wins is going to get fire struck. I have decreed it. There we go. I actually don't want that to burn. I don't want this to burn either. You burn. You have to burn. I'm sorry, lady. You're gonna burn as well. It's too bad, I know. Can I pick you up while you're burning? Oh, I can. There's five hit points left. I wonder if they can sit on the clouds. I think I missed. Oh, he struck the landing. How on earth did he do that? You see how high that was? The guy had five hit points. There was no reason that he should have survived that. That's fine. I momentarily changed the laws of gravity. Because we can do that as the god. Oh, there is a lot of fighting that says going on over here. I don't know if there's if it's already done, though, or what. Because I don't see anyone with their swords out. There's someone dead on the ground, but they could have died of a heart attack or just old age. You never know in this game. No heresy allowed. Get out of here. Look at this giant procession of people. What is going on? There is a combat happening somewhere over here. Yeah, right over here. Got a bunch of swords out. I don't know if they're taking this place over or what. There's more com- Look at that giant invasion. Look at how many warriors there are. I've never seen anything like this. Hold on, we gotta follow this. I gotta see what these guys are gonna go do. First, they're gonna levitate right through the- the Or morphulate right through the, the mountain there. Like, it's no big deal. There's one poor schmuck sitting around. That guy would get absolutely slaughtered. Like I said, there's like a dozen warriors just all walking in. Maybe they're just guards. Maybe they're just like checking the area and making sure everything's really nice right now. Oh, they all just came back home, dropped their swords off, and they're done. Okay, all right. We're doing a tornado. It's the tornado challenge. Wherever it lands, that's who gets the tornado. Really? Ready? Here we go. Is that a fireball or is that a tornado? Looks almost like a fireball. Let's follow it here. Did I throw it right off the map? All right, we got to do that again. We actually have to hit the map. I didn't expect my god arm to be quite so powerful. Tornado. Yeah, that was a fireball anyway. So, all right, there we go. That's a tornado. What happens if you get it over the water? Do you get a water spout? About to find out. Oh, boy. It is over the water and the boaters go flying. There goes the houses. There goes the trees. Sorry, guys. You gotta have some natural disasters. You know how it is. At least the crops stay around. With all the housing. Go. Don't think for a moment that you can run from the tornado. Old Gray's got some testing. Oh, she got kicked right out of my hands from the, by the tornado. All right, tornado did its thing. Now, what we haven't done yet is we haven't expanded in a while. 
So I'm gonna take this opportunity to grab more Savannah, and we're gonna Savannah eyes all over the place here. I want a big, big area because I want to see if we can get some different houses. I'm gonna put some oasis in here too because I don't know if that'll change anything. And then we'll put some desert, kind of like this. Bunch of combat going on over here, it says. I hear the swinging of swords. Yes, we've got a victor. Another victor over there. Someone else. Oh my, wow, everyone is duking it out. These people are duking it out on a raft. It's like something out of a Jackie Chan movie or something. That's That takes dexterity. There we go. The invasion is going well. They're doing good. Oh, she's the winner. Okay. See, we got a few more warriors pouring in here. Wow, the warriors are pouring in from all over. Another combat going on over here. All right. Another one behind me somewhere, it sounds like. Hold on. You guys get to fight in the rain. Here we go. It's giving them a little something extra to deal with at the... I don't know what just killed that guy. It sounded like he was fighting, but it didn't look like it when I went over there. You can see the wreckage from uh, when we blasted this whole area with the tornado. You can actually see where all the chunks... Can, can we pick up... Hold on. Can you pick up the houses? The beat up houses? Oh, you can. Can I put it down? Can I, like, fix it? Here. There. It's fine. I put your... I put your house back. I'm sorry for destroying it with a tornado. Hey, what are you all fighting for over there? You know what? Maybe you need one of those. Maybe that'll fix you. Right in the middle of battle, a vicious tornado appeared. I think I totally missed the battle. But we're still gonna get to see the aftermath over here. Oh, wow. Oh, this poor village. Oh, it was such a nice village, too. They'll build it up. They're good at that. It is following. All the people are screaming, running away. And the tornado is just following them incessantly. All the houses getting blowed up. Man, it even went all the way into the snowy lands over here. Oh, the water. Oh, oh wow. Ooh. Okay, that tornado did a lot of damage. I didn't expect it to do quite so much. These two people are fighting in the side of this mountain. They can't get out. If I keep healing people, will they fight until, like, the... Like, will they fight forever? You know what I mean? Like, if I keep healing their hit points, will they just continue to battle it out? Here we are. Locked in mortal combat. Forever. Never to die. Constantly healed in battle. The war never ends. These two girls are gonna be doing this for a long, long time. Yep. Keep, keep going. Keep fighting for our amusement. It's like Gladiator. Kinda like Gladiator. Here, let me see if I can help you out. Let me see if I can put this lady in the fire. Here. There you go. That's what you get if you learned your lesson. Here, I'll give you a heal spell. Here's a rain one, too. There. She learned her lesson. See? She's reformed. She's not violent anymore. All right, you guys can see our moon colony is doing fantastic. We've got three people on the moon right now. Let's keep it going. Oh, I moved the moon. That means everyone fell to the ground. It's fine, though. Sorry, I moved the moon. We got three people on it, though, so we'll slowly get there. It doesn't look like they build a civilization up there, though. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Deus where now we have a brand new area, the savannah. It's just starting to get built up. We've got a couple of huts going on over here. And with that, it brings an entire new civilization. A lot of combat going on around here. We fixed a lot of, well, we didn't fix a lot of it. A lot of people just slaughtered each other. But it's still doing the thing. We put the moon straight into the planet so that people could go on top of it if they wish and kind of float around in space. Anything else that we should do with our planet? Let me know in the comment section below. You want to make the YouTube machine happy? Feel free to throw some tornadoes on the old like button. Until next time, folks. Stay foxy, much love.